Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I do book things here. Today's also going to be a books and makeup thing because I used to do makeup for those of you who didn't know. And this is something that I started on my channel a really long time ago. I did like one and I never did any more. And whenever I asked you guys like, hey, what videos should I make? They're like makeup inspired by book covers. So I'm like, let's do it. So that is what today's video is going to be. I'm doing my makeup inspired by a book cover. Forward, it may be a book that I like, maybe a book that I didn't like. I'm going to do my makeup, talk about it. Just a little backstory in terms of me as a makeup person. There's a lot of you guys who are new to me, new to my channel. Also a lot of people who used to watch me from back in the day. <laughs> I had a makeup channel here on YouTube called My Eyeshadow is Odd for 12 years, 11 years, I want to say, something like that. Um, 2007. <laughs> Yeah, so 12 years. And I have about 40,000 subscribers over there. I was making, you know, YouTube videos way back before like YouTube was even monetized, before you're even making money off of it. It was something that I loved to do. I went to school for makeup, a license in cosmetology, everything. I did a little bit of like stuff pro and like a kit and I went and did makeup, but I didn't do too much of it because I realized I don't like being this close to someone's face and I ended up just like doing makeup on myself so much more. So that is kind of, you know, an old hobby of mine. Booktube is a new passion of mine, so why not, you know, every now and then combine both of them. Makeup inspired by book covers is just fun because book covers are beautiful. You know, they're, they're designed to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It's like, don't judge a book by its cover yet. We all do, you know? And so a lot of them just have beautiful colors, beautiful themes, and it just translates really well to be able to hold one up and go, I'm inspired by this. All that I'm not going to be necessarily stating products that I use because a lot of my makeup, not gonna lie, is older. It's stuff that I've collected over years and years and years. I don't use this makeup on clients, so I don't care that it's fucking six years old eyeshadow, I don't give a shit. Um, I only use it on myself, it's kept in my drawers nice and clean and dust free and all that. You know, if I say use a yellow eyeshadow, that's what I'm doing. Also, when I do this, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the books if I've read them. I would like to do mostly books that I have read, that way I have something to talk about. I think that makes sense. Also, I might pop on a different lens, move you guys closer to my face if you actually care about the makeup, so. So yeah, hopefully you guys like this and are along for the journey and I'm gonna tell you guys the book now that I'm inspired by. So I will be, you know, doing a test on one side. That's what I used to do back in the day. Again, when I made makeup videos is do one side, do the other on camera. That way I can see what works, what doesn't, what colors pair well. And if it doesn't work, I wipe it off and I try again. So the book that I'm inspired by today, beautiful cover, beautiful book. And it's actually one that I rated five stars not too long ago. Um, that is The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. So the cover itself, stunning. I'm automatically drawn to yellow so I pulled a lot of yellow from there. Also the black for liner. Um, this pink here is going to make an appearance in lip color and then it also has these beautiful flowers on there. So a little bit of pinks and reds, a little bit of white which my highlighter, you know, it's just an easy thing to be inspired by. So I dug out some yellow eyeshadows, some pinks. Like I have an old MAC palette bunch of old MAC palettes, a bunch of old MAC palettes, and honestly these eyeshadows aren't labeled, I couldn't tell you what they are. Also whipping out some sugar pill palettes, um, yeah, before I get into it I do have like my base makeup on, that really almost never changes. Um, if you're curious, I've tried like so many different foundations in my day, $100 foundations, $80 foundations, $5 foundations. The foundation I actually use right now is $8 from Walmart and it's like the best for my skin, the best for the desired sort of coverage that I want. It's a CoverGirl foundation. Um, sue me, you know, $8 at Walmart and actually like matches my skin tone because I'm pale as shit. That's a little heads up on my makeup game. This is gonna be kind of chatty too, I, if you haven't noticed. But one thing that I do end up spending more money on for my makeup is um, skincare and little like select products I really like. Uh, for example, my mascara is Marc Jacobs. This is like $35. Do you need to buy a $35 mascara? No, you don't. But I also kind of make up for it by buying $8 foundation, <laughs> you know? So, you know, there's that. And then I own like 78,000 lipsticks. So 
whatever. All right, have you guys zoomed in here so you can see kind of what the makeup look looks like. I'm gonna be staring a lot into the side of this camera because as I remembered, this lens has autofocus, but it's like really kind of shoddy. So I do have to kind of look at the screen to see whether or not I'm in focus. Um, also, it's been a minute since I've filmed a beauty video, so you guys can see just how thirty I actually am. That's fun. So to start off with this, I'm pulling inspiration from kind of these softer tones right here, and also the yellow. So I'm going to be using just a soft pink eyeshadow on, you know, any sort of brush. You know, like any brush will do. Just a very light pink shade, so like this one here. I'll also be using a little bit of a shade kind of like that one, and then also a yellow. What happened here? Oh, I broke a white eyeshadow. That's fine. But yeah, I'll be using very, very pale. Based on your skin tone, just use any sort of like light pink shade, you know? So I realized I don't have a mirror. So let me go grab a mirror, because I, I can't see. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna take just this light pink color, you know, put it in the crease up to the brow bone, just as a light transition shade. So yeah, let's talk about this book. So this is a five-star book for me. I did talk about it in a couple of my wrap-ups, you know, forever ago. Um, so this book follows a couple different characters. Um, there's three main girls that it follows and they end up forming this sort of club group of girls called the Nowhere Girls and essentially they're seeking justice for um, this crime, sexual assault, rape of this other girl and that girl has sort of moved out of town. Um, this book deals heavily with rape culture and just almost the horrors of what it means to be a girl. <laughs> you know, at times startling. This book is intense, trigger warnings, you know, for rape, sexual assault, and it's on the page and if you don't want to read it, definitely, um, you know, stay clear of those subjects if it's something that's sensitive to you. I think more people need to be reading this book, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do a makeup look inspired by it, because the writing in this is phenomenal and it says so many important things in it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of yellow on that same brush because I'm fucking lazy. And I'm just gonna put that all up in the crease as well. Mostly in the socket. So yeah, so this book discusses all that, but one of the things that I really loved about this book is the format. So it does switch between three of the girls' perspectives but also it has kind of this fourth perspective called the girls and basically what it does is it it will switch so while something is happening to one of the three characters that's important or um you know just impactful to the story it switches to the girl's perspective which is them talking about, you know, in the meantime, one girl is dealing with this, and another girl is dealing with this, and another girl is dealing with this. And I think having that little perspective popped in really gets, to, like, really shows the reader that every girl's experience is different with rape culture, and, you know, it, it, it affects certain people and it doesn't affect other people. I think a lot of the times we can get, like, I'm 30, and I think, you know, even still, I find I can get really stuck in what is my own experience and not like I always try to relate to other people's experiences regardless but I find it can be really tricky at times to remember that everyone has unique experiences and just because something affected you in a certain way doesn't mean it's going to affect other people a certain way or other women in case of this book as they form this club you know they're facing I'm going to take that yellow eyeshadow on just a small brush paddle brush and just pack it onto the lid it's gonna be a lot more intense as I do it on the lid. You know, as they form this group, they're facing a lot of backlash from the boys, from administration, which is hard to see and hard to deal with and read in a book because sadly, administration doesn't like conflict um, a lot of the times. And so seeing these girls deal with a lot of pushback from teachers and principals is also kind of hard to read because not only do they have to deal with the boys in the school, they have to deal with authority not really wanting them to do what they're doing, which is essentially having a voice for themselves, which is kind of a sad reality to a lot of girls is not being able to have a voice 
and able to speak out. But anyway, that all being said, this book is, you know, amazing. Um, I'm now gonna take just this pink shade here on a pencil brush, it's a little brush. I'm gonna make that little fade. But yeah, I had originally heard Chelsea talk about this and she's like, oh my God, you guys gotta read this book. And it took me a while to read it. I actually ended up reading it for a buzzword readathon, I believe. And I'm so happy I finally read it because, again, this is just a book that I feel like not enough people in YouTube talk about. And I think more people should read it because it's very, very impactful. It's one of the best books that I've ever read discussing that subject. So I'm just going to switch to a different brush, pick up a bit more pink. Kind of pack that into the outer corner. Just kind of stop the blending there for a second and move down to the bottom of my eye. So, you know, take out any eye goopies. I'm um, just going to switch to a smaller brush, put a bunch of yellow on the underneath part of my eye. And there's definitely times in this book where it feels like there's no, there's not going to be a good resolution. Um, it feels kind of like, sadly, you know, the people who have done these horrible crimes are just not going to get, not going to get any sort of punishment for it. Um, at times it can feel so hopeless. In stories that feel so hopeless, there is a little bit of hope in this, which is nice. Um, one of the other things that I loved that this book also discussed is, you know, while these girls are forming this group to sort of combat this culture from the boys, men, boys, whatever, there's also discussions in it about what it means, you know, to pair girls against each other. So it's like not all the subjects are going to affect every single girl at these meetings, you know, slut shaming amongst women which exist, <laughs> like it just, it, exi it exists. Um, I think, you know, at any point, any one of us has looked at another person and gone, oh, that girl is a slut or that girl is a whore for one reason or another. But like, why, why are we doing this? Why are we not supporting each other in what we want to do? Like what, what's the point of not supporting each other when all of us just want to be treated equally, but we're not treating each other equally. So from there, I'm going to do a black liner, just the black on the cover. Yeah. I just use a little liquid liner with like a felt tip brush. I laugh, I always get questioned, it's so funny, like even back when I made makeup videos, um, you know, how do you do your liner so quickly and so like, well, this is not that perfect. Like I just accept the fact that it's never going to be perfectly even on each side, it's just not, and I kind of just roll with it. <laughs> In terms of doing it quickly, uh, I do have a pretty steady hand. And then I've also been wearing black eyeliner pretty much every day of my life for 20 years. And so it just gets easier over time. It's a lot of practice. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah, I'm filming. So that's what it looks like with the liner on. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be because who gives a shit? From there, I'm going to put mascara on the top, bottom, uh, throw on some lashes as well. Like it's mostly dried up and so <laughs> like my eyelashes look so goopy <laughs> it's like putting them on with paste it's not a good time but they're like stuck on there don't do this if you're putting eyelashes on someone else for yourself it's okay you can blow on them but don't do it if you're putting them on someone else because no one wants your spit in their eye true story <laughs> as for what these eyelashes are couldn't tell you probably had them for like seven years <laughs> I take really good care of my eyelashes, the fake eyelashes, and I just reuse them until they fall apart, typically, so... Couldn't tell you what they actually are. So if ever you're having issues with false eyelashes and applying them, you literally are probably, I would say nine times out of ten, what people are having issues with is the fact that the glue is too wet. Um, if you put something on and it's wet, it's just going to slide around. If it's literally mostly dry, like I'm talking tacky, almost like paste, like I said, like really, really tacky, that's the best time to apply them. Um, I always typically will apply them in the center first, stick down one end 
and then the other and then go from there um and then while they're drying i like to just kind of press them up a little bit because i like mine to be you know up and then sometimes i'll take tweezers and press them into my like natural lashes just kind of move back a little bit that is the eye you know mostly done just yellows and pinks super kind of like tropical and then i'm going to do the rest of the face i did a little bit of contour on this side just using a very broken nyx blush just it's cool enough to actually work on my face just a little something to make it look like i'm chiseled to the gods <laughs> also like to put a little bit right here it's going to get rid of any double chin well not any double chin your double chin is still going to be there but like it also looks like you kind of have a jaw <laughs> blush i'm just sticking with the pinky kind of tone so i'm using nars orgasm oh, yeah. so i'm going with like an icier colored highlighter than what i would typically wear um so this is becca's pearl highlighter it's white essentially <laughs> Put a little bit of that on there and then i know this is kind of like a late 2000s whatever um kind of thing but i put a little bit of highlighter underneath the brow bone too i just liked how it hits the light how it just had like a sea of highlighter so sometimes i put highlighter up on my like forehead bone just so that you look you look super highlighted okay um also take a little bit of highlighter or a lot it's fine top of the lip down the nose and then bottom of the chin so you look all kinds of glowy. So then for lips, I've just been hanging out with some lip chop on, getting, you know, less crusty by the minute. Shout out to Blistex. Making sure to just get all the crusty lip crust off of there. For the lip color, I'm going to try to match this color as best as I can. Um, I'm going to mix two different lip colors together. A Sephora color and also a MAC liquid lipstick. Um, I'm just going to mix both of those on the back of my hand until I get that color it's kind of like a purple purplier pink to be honest just the sephora color is pretty close but i'm just gonna add a little bit of that back one to like darken it up that makes sure kind of looks decent i find a lip brush any lip brush will do any lip brush apparently i have zero lip brushes so yeah just mix those two together came up with the color pretty much identical and just uh you know put that on your mouth So that's kind of the finished look I got going on here. It all kind of complements each other really well. So, you know, um, definitely pulling colors from this, the yellow, some of the red tones, black eyeliner, you know. I'm going to zoom you guys out to show you guys, I guess, what the look looks like. I'll include some beauty shots in here. Why not? Is that a thumbnail? Is this a thumbnail? This is the final makeup look uh, based on this cover. What do you guys think? Should it be more yellow? Should it be less pink? I don't know. <laughs> Wanted to, you know, do it. So this actual makeup look is completely wearable. Like it's, you know, I mean, obviously you could not wear it with lashes if you don't want to, um, you know, but this is, this whole pairing together pairs really nicely. And so that's one of the things like I like looking at book covers because so many of the colors complement each other well and that it's easy like i said in the beginning of the video it's easy to um be inspired makeup wise because you kind of know that these colors are going to like work well together plus it's just fun i think i'm definitely going to do more of these um you know i miss makeup i do i don't miss doing it on other people um i don't miss the beauty community sorry but <laughs> i'm gonna spill them tea there i don't i do miss just sort of messing around and seeing like what i can create and using a bunch of old ass products that like you know have been sitting in my drawers for like fucking years you know and also talking a little bit about books that i enjoy let me know in the comments down below if you like this video if you want me to do more uh if there is a specific book cover that you guys are interested in that i have read if you know that i've read the book and you're like ooh, i bet you a makeup look inspired by that would be good please leave it down in the comments down below um i might pick four that i really like and just do a poll on twitter and see you know what's the next one you guys want me to do um so maybe stay tuned for that 
or you know check back for twitter for those because i might be doing those every now and then so yeah hopefully you guys like this video it might not be everyone's thing that's okay i don't mind kind of just a little passion project of mine and uh yeah so until my next video i will talk to all of you soon